Hi everyone, welcome to ED2440 Technologies for Early Childhood Education. The first three weeks concentrates on the two new subjects in the national curriculum and it's important for us to get our head around the national curriculum because it starts in Queensland next year so that's the system that you'll be operating in when you're out teaching. The first subject that we'll be looking at is digital technologies which is mainly to do with ICTs that is information communication technologies and the second involves design in technologies which is focused on the importance of design and design thinking as well as systems based thinking. So this is a big change to what we've had in the past hence the need for a new subject because in the past ICT was integrated across the curriculum and there wasn't a subject on design as such. Now of course ICT still needs to be integrated across the curriculum but there's a separate subject that runs from the early years right through to the end of year 8 and then even after the end of year 8 students can decide to continue um, with this um, if they're not doing more complex ICT or digital technology subjects they can still keep going with those subjects so this is a really big change. Now during this week and most other weeks what you'll need to do is to go through the PowerPoint um, slides that are provided for the topic and then to have a look at the videos and any other information that's set for that week. In this first week we're going to look at the new curriculum in general and a little bit about just the, what the national curriculum involves and have a look at the draft national curriculum document for these two subjects. All up we'll be spending a full three weeks on these two subjects looking at the curriculum documents. As well as that each week there'll be a discussion question that's compulsory in this subject for everyone to make at least one post per week and we'd like you to do that sometime between Monday and Thursday. Lynn Davis and myself will be trying to respond to every single post, so uh, we want to make sure that we have some good interaction going in the subject. Since it's not face-to-face, -face, the way around that is for everybody to contribute and everybody to have a say and everyone to discuss. As well as in the discussion board, you can provide links that other students may find to be interesting that add to the content that we're looking at each week and that way we can all build on what's already there. As well as the content in each week, there's an important practical ICT task and that involves the use of web quests and designing a web quest from scratch. Now this is very important in the new national curriculum. It's one of the key areas, uh, design, particularly in relation to websites, it also has an emphasis on programming and understanding what data is. Even in the early years, students can be prepared um, so that they can understand how data is represented and what it is and how it works. And we'll be looking at that later in the course. Now, to create this website to host your web-based learning activity following the template of the WebQuest, you will need to have a Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, get one as soon as possible and that gives you access to a lot of um, free tools that Google offers, including Google Sites. Um, you'll be creating this web support it, supported learning activity in that website without using a predetermined template or a wizard. They're available in there, but if you use those, you don't build up much of an understanding of how to create a website and how it works, and then if you want to change something with a wizard, you can't really do it. Later on, when you're busy and teaching, you're more than likely going to be using a template or a wizard, but you need this information even to be able to use that effectively. It's also important to start on this practical activity or at least thinking about it right from week one. It's not the sort of activity that you can leave to the last week or even the last couple of weeks. You've got to be starting on it and working on it all the way through. So as well as the weekly content, we have the continual work on this um, piece. Now once the work, the content that's involves the curriculum is completed after the first three weeks, we'll move on to other significant areas of research. So 
for example, what the research says about the use of digital technology in the early years and other significant themes. So just to recap, uh, the important things to remember in this subject are to go through the content each week. You will need to make one post at least on the discussion board each week and that needs to be done sometime between Monday and Thursday. And the last thing is straight away start thinking about the ICT practical task and continue with it each week. There's an absolute host of supporting material on the web for using WebQuest, everything from courses to PowerPoints to links to examples. That's why I've chosen this because I realise that some people may not have had any experience at all in designing a web-based learning activity or they might have never made a website. So. I want to have different templates there to help you. One template to help you that also relates back to the design and technology subject is the design thinking strategy. So we'll be looking at those and using those as well in designing the learning activity. And as well as that, there is a predetermined template for how that learning activity will be structured. So that all gives you a lot of support, so don't be too worried about it. Uh, we're really excited about running this subject, it's a new subject and we're dealing with a new curriculum. So a lot of work's gone into this beforehand to make sure that everything's well covered. So I think if everyone puts in a really good effort, they'll complete this subject, have a really good understanding of the curriculum about how to construct websites and a lot about um, how a really well constructed web supported learning activity works, all the things that are really important for the future um, for your career in working in ECE. So over the weeks I'll try to put videos like this on to communicate with you and we'll have continual communication through the discussion board. So I'm looking forward to it, I hope you are as well.